dear friends so i am in my office it's the winter sun outside which is setting and you can see at the back the loads of papers indicating that the exams are finally over and the semester is over for me so i'll have time to talk to you through this medium of social media on the youtube and I don't know what should I be doing today. Maybe having a chit chat. It's a lot there. I get, I get a lot of suggestions by people telling me that you should talk about how to do research, how to do, you know, effectively study papers, especially in optimization. I may be uh, trying to do. One can try to say about one's own experience, but it's a very difficult question to say how to do research because. everybody has his own way of doing research and so it's very difficult to say how to do research or how much really you love mathematics and how much is your capability my capability is pretty poor i think means i am i don't understand most of the things and i only little amount of tool in my uh, possession and i use those tools over and over again only thing i can tell you that i'm excited by certain problems i enjoy them and i want to learn more over them uh, i think i'm more interested in understanding and then i try to ask questions and where whatever when i try to answer those questions i kind of answer questions for myself and maybe that becomes some kind of a research paper i can write mm. it's very important to be humble and to say that i don't think that uh, if you would like well, i can really put myself as somebody doing just big research or something like that yeah i do enjoy it's not that i don't publish papers i do publish papers i did my try to do my best in that but uh, it's very difficult to say wow, what is the path when there is no royal road to geometry as euclid had once told king ptolemy so there is no hard and fast rule uh, there is no way to teach people how to do research there is there is absolutely no way to do that and uh, i think that's fair enough you 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 don't need to do that you you develop your own way of doing things i don't know what's uh, i would do today maybe show you a bit of a part of my room by just putting the thing so here is the table which i am sitting in which i really do research work and optimization another is my book writing table where i really write my books especially one the one on statistics uh, that i am writing especially undergraduate teaching book that one too uh, and other research monographs are also there but uh, one i am working at home i like writing books because there you can not only you are sharing your own ideas you can also write about other people's ideas and try to interpret other people's idea and you may think of different motivating uh, reasons for various things and uh, you may try to look at many old things in a new way and which might be pretty refreshing and so you relearn the things you have learned and and you you gradually when you write books you understand the fa famous feynman's adage that there is nothing to unlearn maybe a book which i would like to show you today which is which is just lying here right it's called vector analysis by mure spiegel it is one of the most famous or possibly the most famous book on vector analysis now those who have learned linear algebra would immediately know that okay there is so much similarity between vector analysis and linear algebra they are essentially kind of but these are similar languages yes to extend some extent similar some extent there is slight difference and these are this is a very important tool which physicists would like to use which is their language essentially and uh, in our undergraduate course this was a part vector analysis and i can show you that if i open this book in the first page it is written joydeep datta bsc mathematics and they were i have written the name of my hometown to tell in those days in calcutta that you know i don't belong to calcutta i belong to a small railway town called new jalpaiguri 
so uh, this year is that i am a railway child my mother worked in the railways and this is the 200 years of the rail the modern uh, the railways of the world so 200 years ago on 27 september in 1825 the first commercial train train ran between stockton and darlington uh, in in the uk and uh, and george stephenson was the person who built that steam locomotive called locomotion and uh, he ran a kind of goods train with one i think passenger wagon at the end so <clears throat> apart from mathematics railways have all been been one of my very big uh, passion i somehow i love the railways maybe i loved i started loving the railways much earlier than i loved uh, mathematics so why i tell you that if you are in your undergraduate physics or mathematics and vector analysis is a thing you have to learn uh, you you can see that why i love this book for me this is because this is a book which i have there are few books which you read cover to cover a scientific book this is the one i have read cover to cover and solved almost all the problems so you can see its usage also now they have an indian edition but it is not of this quality that you have and i saved up my pocket money uh, and, and I used to do tuitions. I used to go after the college hours and do tuitions. I, so I saved uh, my pocket money and bought this book from College Street. I think Sasharad book house only. So this is a beautiful, you see, this is, so the, it, it, it gives you the minimal basic theory in a proper way. And then gives you a lot of solved example. You see it is written including four eighty solved problems. So what is interesting about this book, it starts from a very basic thing. If you look at the uh, uh, look at the table of contents the first is vectors and scalars and that is the first thing that you should learn and then the dot product and cross product then vector differentiation gradient divergence and curl the, the three um, main operations of vector analysis then vector integration the divergence theorem, Stokes theorem, and related integral theorem. So this subject is a kind of combination of linear algebra, of multivariable calculus, and then you have curvilinear coordinates and tensor analysis, which is very important for relativity theory and differential geometry. So it helps the mathematician also in some way, but written mostly with possibly the physicist in mind. And uh, I think uh, this book, if I just, I'll just show you its inner print the, I, the the current book that you will get in indian edition will not have a print as good as this that i can tell you so this is some you know, a book which i treasured and I, I would like to treasure it for my life and uh, this is really a this is one of my favorite books if you want to me to choose one book on vector analysis uh, this is the book i will choose so i have some another book on vector and two books in fact i have some few books are lying here here is a book which anybody in physics or mathematics can just have a look and have fun because this is a book which is written for people to read and understand step by step and with very good examples from physics and uh, and also geometry it is a book by Banesh Hoffman who has written about relativity also. It's a book about uh, it's a book called About Vectors published by Dover Publications. And another book I bought myself, my mother gave me some money in one of my birthdays maybe a few years back. And this is a book which I actually heard from, I was, there is a channel called Math Sorcerer who is very, very popular. I Means I, my popularity would be basically look like useless in compared to his popularity. He's a maths prof in the US and keeps on giving book suggestions. So he gave this book suggestion, but it was his much older edition div curl and all that div grad curl and all that so divergence gradient and curl the three jewel operations of vector analysis so here the book is interesting because he does it in a way which is very different he uh, so he, with he introduces vector functions and he introduces with the notions of electrostatic so he brings in physics from the very beginning so it's a it's a very applied field but 
very rigorous field so the second chapter is surface integrals and divergence so he he takes an integration type one type of several types of integration you know there is surface integral there is line integral there is volume integral so with surface integral he links the operation of divergence so that's the way of looking at it and you see you see it starts from gauss's law gauss's law of electrostatics so this is a, a very very important way of doing things so if you go to the third chapter here which is called uh, line integrals and the curl so again with line integrals into he links up curl right so this green's theorem stokes theorem and Diver gauss divergence theorem all are coming in in a in a, in a very in a in a framework associated with some operation most books like the, the, the one by the one here by Mure Spiegel gives all these things at the end quite quite at the end but here they do it along one integral and one operation is matched up and that is why it's a quite a unique book and I think Matt Sorcerer was right actually he, in telling that this is a unique book and I have seen through some parts which are very beautiful if uh, it, it's a very good book to teach through actually and now chapter 4 is just the gradient so with the gradient he doesn't I'll put any in integral so the gradient which we do at the very beginning basically it's differentiation he does it at quite the end of course here you will not find any uh, tensor or curvilinear coordinates so that is why this book remains very good vectors vectors everywhere actually wherever you see it's very difficult to uh, do away with vectors so Anthony Z a very famous physicist has written love some lovely books one of his very recent books is called of fly by night physics where you do kind of uh, use dimensional analysis or kind of approximate arguments to solve some physics problem rather than doing everything rigorously so so he says that now what is a ten vector the vector is something that transform like a vector what is a tensor tensor is something like transforms like a tensor so it's very difficult to think about things which are not vectors real number is also a vector so the line one point the number one is a vector with the direction from right from zero if you are looking at the number line yourself and left from zero uh, is minus one so there are two directions on the real line so every number is a kind of has a having a direction two has one positive direction minus two has negative direction so it's like that so there's two ways of looking at vectors one from the number side numerical side many of say a tuple of x1 x2 x3 what does it mean because if you change x1 x2 x3 their position in the plane changes and so from the zero point if you look at them the direction changes and that's why so so there is one this number aspect the generalization of the number concept and there is a physical quantity of velocity of acceleration of force being applied that yeah there is a physicality of the whole thinking that there is a direction and there is a magnitude so it so there are two aspects but ultimately mathematically the structure is same there is no so that is why mathematics is always the most unifying of all subjects and that is why ma mathematics is used in everything because it, it, it stops any uh, ambiguity so let me pick up some book what uh, okay some people were talking about linear programming so this is one of the very recent books on linear programming written by one of the greatest names of convex optimization Arkady Nemirovsky. Arkady Nemirovsky has a very f a famous book on interior point methods for convex optimization with Nesterov. So this is a book for even the researchers, modern researchers in optimization because it has not only applications but it has a, it is filled with deep uh, theory or, and you will see the, there is so much beauty in the mathematics of linear programming. 
very good applications with algorithms and goes into things like more beyond linear programming like conic programming and semi-definite optimization which are very very important uh, for things nowadays for our current day application so uh, you, it, it obviously talks about the simplex method also but you can immediately if I show you the structure of the book you can understand this is heavy mathematics and you really this is a book really for the re people who are in, in optimization research uh, I would say that please have a look at this book because linear optimization or linear programming is fundamental to all optimizations and without that things won't really work. So maybe with uh, this little chit chat on this winter evening I should say a goodbye. Mm. You know every time you may not be in the mood for doing mathematics take more breaks if you don't feel like just go up and hang out see a movie then maybe after two days you come and look at the subject again and you will start enjoying it so uh, never get your if you come to the point of being bored stop immediately that would be my advice to youngsters so take breaks uh, and enjoy I mean, there is always a sometimes a value in wasting your time you people would say oh you're wasting your time hanging out seeing a movie but you are you are actually relaxing yourself which is very important mathematics cannot be done under stress it has to be done under relaxed conditions um, people have done mathematics under stress great mathematicians too but many have the the, the way amount of things that you have to learn in modern mathematics you need to do them in a very relaxed state of mind so thank you friends maybe i'll have a little look at the office again you can see there's a window outside and uh, you can see uh, the beautiful scenery outside and maybe uh, i'm become a youtuber right kind of real youtuber uh, have a look at my office and my bookshelves and you can see it's a lovely office and I enjoy sitting here and working, reading books and thinking about some research problems and hoping that you have a very good weekend. I'll be traveling to Jodhpur this Monday. Of course, I'll take the Shatabdi to Delhi and Bande Bharat from Delhi Kant and my postdoc supervisor would also be joining me there and uh, we'll travel to Jodhpur together. There's a conference and we'll enjoy there. Maybe I'll try to bring you some excerpts from a conference on optimization and nonlinear analysis. Some very big uh, stars are coming there and so I'm looking forward to that. So all my subscribers, all my viewers have a very happy weekend and enjoy yourself.